Kelly Lynn McGlawlin and I am the driver ambassador for Women in Trucking and Schneider. And today on my driver tip series, I want to talk about fuel water separators. And that's this guy right here with, with the glass top that's underneath my hood and on the outside of my engine. Before I get too far along in this series about fuel water separators, I want to clarify just a few terms related to diesel fuel. And the first one is cloud point. And cloud point is when clean diesel fuel gets cold and it starts to get cloudy. Poor point is the second definition that I want to give you, and it is the point right between cloud point and gel form. And then that leads me to gel form. And gel form is when diesel fuel is super cold, so cold that the diesel actually turns into a solid form, which is like gel or jello. It's pretty rare for most of us, and it is the most commonly misused term when talking about diesel fuel. You might ask, what is a fuel water separator? How does it work? The obvious answer is that it separates out water and contaminants from your fuel. I happen to have a DAVCO unit. There's another popular brand out there called Raycor. About 90% of tractors these days have fuel water separators and probably about three quarters of them are of the DAVCO brand. And the way it works is it draws fuel water contaminants up from the bottom of your fuel tank, goes through the lines into the fuel separator. As it gets there, it slows that movement down. And then your contaminants and water and fuel separate out naturally. Diesel fuel on the top, the contaminants and water on the bottom. That's why the drain valve is on the bottom of the DAVCO unit. And not all equipment is the same, but this is the first of three fuel filters I have on my tractor. And in addition to doing all of this work, it is also a preheater for your fuel. The most common way that water gets into your fuel is through natural condensation that happens in temperature swings. So it usually think about spring where you might go from a really warm day, the, the air is saturated with moisture, and then a very chilly night and you wind up with condensation. Um, you might actually get it from the fuel that you purchase. Most uh, fueling solutions up north they actually add poor point additives to their fuel. And as we know now, water settles down to the bottom of your tank and diesel fuel floats to the top. It keeps your engine running longer. It prevents you from being shut down. It's an expensive part to replace. I recently had to have mine replaced. It was a thousand dollars just for the part. It prevents engine damage, especially to your fuel injector. So what do you need to do? You need to check your fuel water separator on a regular basis. Check it at every fueling. And then the other thing to do is to preheat when you see that your fuel is at the cloud point. What are some common problems that you might find associated with the fuel water separator? One is that you go to drain the fluid and nothing comes out. You probably have a valve problem and you need to just stop right there and go see a mechanic. Another problem might be that you start to see the fuel level rise to the top of the, of the filter and that probably means you're getting to the end of that fuel filter life and you need to go see a mechanic. First is that they just don't drain it often enough. You need to drain it, check for contaminants of water at every fueling at least once a week. A uh, common mistake is draining too much fluid. You only want to drain about a uh, half a cup and stop as soon as you notice it's just diesel fuel coming out and that there's no water or contaminants. Uh, don't add alcohol as a fuel additive. It's just not necessary. Preheat when necessary. And another common mistake is that drivers might back the uh, valve out too far. You only want to turn it about one and a half turns until fuel starts to come out. And on the flip side of that, don't tighten it too much. Once you reach the tight point, just give it about an eighth of an inch of a turn and then you're good. Preheating is when you activate the preheater at the bottom of your fuel water separator. You do this by turning your key on, engine off, and you would do this when your fuel is at the cloud point 
or if the temperature is zero to negative 10 degrees, you would preheat for five minutes, negative 10 to negative 20 degrees, you would preheat for 10 minutes, below negative 20 degrees, you would preheat for 15 minutes, and then after you finish that preheat cycle, turn your engine on for five to 10 minutes, and then you should be ready to go. I'm going to demonstrate for you how I check my fuel water separator for fluids for water and drain it and at the very end after i drain some diesel out i'm going to show you what it looks like when water is in my diesel fluid you can see easily that the water separates out goes to the bottom and the diesel floats on the top so do your thorough pre-chips <laughs> drive safe and don't forget to check your fuel water separator on a regular basis and we'll see you out on the road. Bye.